Hey guys, so my husband and I went to the grocery store last week and our grocery, uh, well basically we shopped for two weeks at a time and our bill came to um, I think just a little over a thousand dollars. Normally it would be probably about eight hundred or nine hundred dollars but it went over to a thousand dollars and while driving home we were like we need to cut this down, we need to find some way in which we could co probably cut the cost of our grocery bill and this is what we came up with guys the final one will definitely make you save hundreds of dollars so guys you have to stay tuned to listen to all the tips and it's not a trick for you to listen to the entire video but if you can, if you want you can skip ahead but the last tip will definitely help you save a lot more money on your grocery bill especially during this um this inflation <laughs> you know so definitely you would want to listen let us get on with the video shall we okay so point number one is that guys we need to shop when there are promotions i know a lot of us uh we decide we like to shop whenever we have time or whenever you know we just, we just want to shop okay whenever it's con it is convenient to us or just pick a day basically we shop whenever we want and that if you want to save money then you have to shop when there are promotions or keep an air open for promotion from for items that are on promotion okay so point number two is buy in bulk when there are promotions so for example if milk is on promotion or butter is on promotion then you buy um more milk or more butter so that will help you to at least you know save a few dollars okay on your next grocery bill right so if there's a promotion buy more stock up buy in bulk right save money that way don't let the promotion pass you buy and say oh um hmm i should have i should have done that i should have taken up more milk i should have taken up butter especially if you have kids i'm sure these things will not go to waste in my country sometimes around the christmas season you'll get butter um they'll have butter on promotions or they'll have um like oils and different baking items because in my country we do a lot of baking around christmas i'm sure in most countries they do uh but in the caribbean we do a lot of the christmas black cake baking so a lot of these these ingredients for the black cake are often on sale around christmas time so people like moi and my family and friends and so we definitely take advantage of the promotions around that time and another thing that you can do and definitely we do it here as well is buy generic brands or store brands okay um there are certain things that you may choose to stick with brand um for example if you like a particular brand of ice cream then you can stick with that but in our case where cost of goods are very expensive because we live on an island and it's very expensive to bring the items here so what we do we just stick with a generic brand it doesn't matter the taste well it matters the taste matters what am i saying the taste matters but um you know it, it's not a big of a deal for me or my family so anyway it doesn't matter if we eat a brand name cereal right as opposed to a generic brand right like fruit loops as opposed to our supermarket brand it doesn't matter right they all basically to me it tastes almost the same and it goes the same place and it comes out the same place so it doesn't matter guys if you're getting value from this please uh you know hit the like button and subscribe to my channel i really want this information to spread i know it will help people you know save money when they're shopping especially during this time we're in inflation okay so another thing you can do in order to cut your grocery bills and save money 
is by using coupons. Yes, coupons. So in my country, coupon is not uh, something that's common per se. We don't have coupons. No, we don't have coupons here. But if it is in, available in your country, go ahead and use it. Because when I used to live in the US, I definitely used to use coupons and save money as a student. So another, another way in which you can save money when shopping is by using grocery shopping apps. This will definitely help you save money. Uh, actually, what they do is like um, apps like Rakuten, I think that's it, Rakuten, Rakuten. Anyway, I'm not sure how you pronounce this, and I butter. So these apps, they basically give you money back when you are buying when you buy your groceries basically so it's a great way in which you can shop and get something back from all the money you're spending okay it is what i normally do is shop in different stores so this is something that you can do as well in your country i know for sure where i can get um stuff such as my laundry stuff for you know a very affordable cost items such as vegetables i can buy that in a different grocery store as well uh so basically on average i can go between two or three grocery shops when i'm when i am shopping doing my normal grocery shopping so and another way in which i save money is by cooking from scratch yes definitely when you cook from scratch you will save more money without having to go buy food or in or having to you know order takeout or all these fast food stuff you know you can actually cook from scratch and save your money and I know that for sure because this that is what I do almost every day we rarely buy food very rare even if we have to do a one pot and a one pot is basically where you put everything in the pot the rice and chicken and everything you have something called a pelau in my i'll show you the picture right here uh pelau that's basically that's where you cook everything in the pot um we have different type of dishes like that so which will make it easier for you to cook and eat a healthy meal and you will save time by cooking a one pot, basically. So you can get your proteins, you can add your veggies, you have your starch, your rice, etc. Okay, so you know you guys can look for different recipes and you know cook from scratch more often. So another point I would like to make is don't shop with kids. <laughs> do not shop with kids and this is that's a mistake we used to make my husband and i in the past we always would shop with the kids and they would always want this and that snack and ice cream and you know they would like to have um instead of having one ice cream they would want different flavors of ice cream and that definitely you know it didn't work with us so if you want to save money, leave the kids home with grandma or grandpa or babysitter and just take yourself out and shop by yourself or with a husband or friend. And that's where you will save money because my kids definitely, and that's the thing, it's not just wanting one or two things, they want the most expensive items. Yeah. Another tip is, eat before you go shopping yes this is something that uh we need to i think i need to do more often i usually always go to the grocery store and have and always have to buy go into the deli and buy stuff to eat um but yes you can eat it, it will help you save money if you eat before you shop guys and this is my tip for you because i know i used to, i will we spend a lot of money in the deli you know just buying a whole heap of crap sometimes and most of the time it would remain in the fridge and then we'll just have to toss it away 
pick how often you go shopping pick how often you go grocery shopping because what i normally do is i would normally go shopping probably once or twice a week you can do it once a week you can do it uh every two weeks or once a month it depends on how often but try to and that bring me to another point is make a list right have everything listed out so you wouldn't forget anything and have to and having to make several trips to the grocery store during the week or or times when you're not shopping okay and another tip that will tie into this one is your meal plan so if you know exactly what you'll be cooking during that time when you're not shopping then it will be so much easier to make your grocery list and make a big shopping okay so that will prevent you from making several trips to the grocery store and where you will be buying you know items that you may not necessarily want but sometimes you go to the grocery store to pick up one thing and you end up with 10 things so yeah so make a list stick to the list so you meal plan you make a list and you choose how often um during the month you will shop and stick to you know that shopping period that routine and that schedule or that schedule and you make that do if you run out of items then improvise and that is what i do if i run out of something i will improvise okay and one more thing is we're not we're coming up to the bonus we are coming to the bonus guys another tip is to stop buying plastic why do we buy plastic plastic bottles well the water bottles so most persons buy water in bottles stop doing that you know the plastic is not good for the planet and having water inside these plastic bottles is not healthy um unless you live in a place where the water is extremely unhealthy and probably more poisonous than what you get in your bottle i'm not saying it's poisonous but plastic is not the healthiest thing to keep water in anyway so if your water, the water where you're living is not that uh, clean, then you could probably, well, if it doesn't, if it tastes bad, then use a plastic bottle. But if it's okay, you can easily use a filter, guys. Attach a filter to your pipe or you buy the water um, jugs to, put, to keep in the refrigerator. Um that already has a filter in it and you use that i think that will definitely save you a lot of money instead of buying the the case of water also buying plastic plates and plastic fork and spoon and and plastic um cups i don't or paper cups paper stuff that that is not necessary guys we're, we're too lazy all we have to do is eat <laughs> um after eating wash our dishes right it's not rocket science and most of us have dishwashers um if you live in if you're living in my country like the caribbean we don't have any dishwasher so we use our hands so our hands is our dishwasher so <laughs> this is what we use but i think we're just too lazy you know so if you know that you're gonna have friends and family over use your plates i can understand if you don't have much plates right you buy the disposable ones but if you have enough for the persons you'll be entertaining or just your normal family use your plates your spoons your forks and wash it up afterwards you save money right this is the time when you want to save money you save money another point is you eat less meat eat less meat guys eat less meat um if you're accustomed eating two pieces of drumsticks for example cut down to one drumstick so you can probably eat meat once a week twice a week three times a week um and the rest of the days you go meatless and trust me you will save money all right and meat and eat plant-based eat um beans get your protein from beans you know it's way much healthier than eating meat and of course meat will get more expensive so 
if you want to save money, reduce the meat you eat. So back to the story that I started the video with. So my husband and I, we decided that in order to cut the grocery bill, what we will do is basically plant our own food. Yes, we will plant our own food. <laughs> um, so we will grow fruits and vegetables. Yes, we actually have a quiet piece of land um, a while now. So we have to build where we will be building our dream home or home whichever you guys call it, but we'll be building our home. And we've decided that basically we will plant, you know, we will have a kitchen garden. And I know most of you probably where you are, you, you're not able to have a kitchen garden, but um, I've looked up on Pinterest and they have, they showed you so many little solutions for persons who do not who are not able to plant outside you can do your little own planting inside whether it's in a kitchen if you have a small patio or veranda you can plant your items there okay so it doesn't you don't necessarily need to have a large space to do any sort of planting and you guys you'll be amazed how much you will save when you plant your own cabbages your little um seasoning such as your scythe and your scythe and thyme such as your your scythe and thyme yeah i think that's a, you i think they call it green onions in the states uh there are other items small items that you can plant you know inside the house that where you can actually use you know your little parsley and so that you can actually that you use on a regular basis in your food to help you cut cost if you find this video helpful please subscribe subscribe all right so i know definitely this video will help you save some money it definitely got me thinking and i was like you know what i need to share this i need to share this so i've done it and guys comment below on how you are saving money on your grocery bill bye